In this video, you will learn how to migrate design data from the base workspace to a data dictionary. The way you approach data management can impact your development workflow efficiency and process integrity. Simulink Data Dictionary permanently stores model data, including MATLAB variables, data objects, and data types. While the base workspace could also be used to store design data, a data dictionary provides more capabilities. You can track changes, control access, partition or share data, and use more advanced collaboration and computationization workflows. Let's look at the different scenarios for migrating data to a data dictionary. A single dictionary containing data for all components in the model hierarchy is the simplest way to manage your data. This way, data is shared and accessed by all components in one place. This approach works well if you are a single developer or have a relatively small design. For more complex designs, you can set up a shared dictionary for common data and separate dictionaries for each component in your design. Componentization establishes clear data ownership, so this approach is appropriate if you have a large design and portions of your system are developed independently by multiple people. Now let's see how to migrate data from the base workspace to a single data dictionary in Simulink. The first step is to create a new dictionary and link it to the model. This can be done from the data tab of the model properties. We can now migrate data from the base workspace to this dictionary. Here we will select to link all reference models in the hierarchy to this dictionary. If you are migrating only a subset of your design data, you can also select this option to enable your model to access data from the base workspace and data dictionary at the same time. This is helpful for incremental migration to data dictionaries. If you use any callbacks to load data, you can remove them now. At this time, you can also confirm that the models work correctly. Now let's look at how to migrate data from the base workspace to a set of componentized data dictionaries. A common dictionary will store data for multiple or all components. Such data can be company or project-wide parameters, physic constants, etc. Usually setting up a common data dictionary is a one-time operation for your organization, and then the dictionary can be used across all projects. In addition, each component will have its own data dictionary. Let's see how we can do this in Simulink. From the Model Explorer, create a common data dictionary. And bring the shared data from the base workspace to this dictionary. Now, from the first component you want to migrate, in this case the engine, create a data dictionary. then link it to the common dictionary. To migrate data from the base workspace to the component dictionary, select the engine model and click on Migrate Data. In this process, data used by the component will be migrated to the engine dictionary. However, data already defined in the common dictionary will not be migrated even though it is used by the component. Similar to the previous scenario, at this stage you can remove any mechanisms that you use to load data and you can run the test to ensure that the model runs correctly. To complete migration, repeat the same process for the remaining components, that is transmission and vehicle. This migration process can be done manually as shown here or automated by using Simulink's command line APIs. In summary, you saw two scenarios for managing your design data and migrating it from the base workspace to data dictionaries. To support your development workflow efficiency, consider team size, design complexity, and the need for independent development when choosing a data management approach.